Pythagorean theory. Pythagoras of Samos was a Greek mathematician who was the first scientist of antiquity to call himself a philosopher, or in other words, a lover of wisdom. Little is known about his teachings, but one thing we know is that he thought that the laws of the universe could be explained through mathematics. Thus the Pythagorean theory has been credited to his name. The Pythagorean theory states that the square of the hypotenuse of the right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. This theory is summarized by the equation. In other words, the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle can be derived from the square of its roots. Thus the triangle is formed by three sides and three angles. And as we know, God is three in one, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And as we know, man is one in three, the heart, soul, and mind. And all things are rooted in the Trinity. For all things are rooted in the Father who is the water. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose trust is the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by the water, that extends its roots by a stream, and will not fear when the heat comes. But its leaves will be green, and it will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. Jeremiah 17 and 7 And all things are rooted in the Spirit, for through the Spirit the fruits are produced. For a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from its roots will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Isaiah 11 and 1 And all things are rooted in the Son. For as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, having been firmly rooted, and now being built up in Him, and established in your faith, just as you were instructed, and overflowing with gratitude. Colossians 2 and 6 And on that day his root shall be glorious. In that day the nations will resort to the root of Jesse, who will stand as a signal for the peoples, and his resting place will be glorious. Isaiah 11 and 10 And God's children have been rooted in the triune of the Trinity. And on that day his root shall return and they shall claim what is rightfully theirs. For behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter by the gates into the city, Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers, and the immoral persons, and the murderers, and the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices lying. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. Revelation 22 and 12 Yet man has not been rooted in the Trinity, but on the mammon of the earth, and on that day the roots of the earth shall be burned in the fire. Therefore, as a tongue of fire consumes stubble and dry grass collapses into the flame, so their root will become like rot, and their blossom blown away as dust. For they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah 5 and 24. For as Pythagoras had testified, the sides of a triangle that is right can be calculated by its roots. And it is the Spirit who testifies, because the Spirit is truth. 
For there are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and the three are in agreement. 1 John 5 and 5 But when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25 and 31.